and, and people wonder why People wonder why all the crime going on in St. Mary's County, right? Cause th th this is what they do, y'all. Instead of them patrolling the neighborhoods, right? They post up and, 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 and waste waste uh people money, right? This ain't even it, y'all. Under this little thing right here, it's, uh, it's a couple of more under here. I don't know if y'all can see, but you can see the little reflection from that vehicle right there, right? This used to be an old Ford dealership. This what they do, y'all. Hold on. Yeah. Big Jammer said, they sit out there all the time. Nope. Look, I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to show y'all real quick. Let me let me put the phone down. Cause I don't want them to say to try and fuck with me because they know I'm recording them. I want y'all to look. I'm about to go to the old parking lot, right? Cause I want y'all to see that. Y'all look at her. This is what they do, y'all. And, and people wonder why all the crime going on in St. Mary's County. Because the police don't give a fuck. This is what they doing, y'all. Over there chilling in their car. My man over here, he got, he got the double shade. John, what's going on? Sean, what's up, bruh? Strawberry rain. Y'all look at him. People wonder why the, the crime in St. Mary's going on, how it's going on. Cause this what we this what our uh sheriffs are doing. We ain't gonna talk about the road pirates, uh Maryland State Police. We ain't gonna talk about them right now. We talking about the sheriffs. Look at me, y'all. My man, my man is under the shade. Ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> Ain't worried about nothing. Now we got one, three, we got four cars over here, y'all, and, and, and one parking lot, right? Ain't doing a damn thing, y'all. And Sheriff Tim Cameron, he up there in Lindertown. Ain't worrying about nothing. He ain't never worried about nothing. But they want they want to talk about uh A Young City in their meetings and shit. Oh, if he asks y'all questions, tell him he gotta contact the public information officer. I'm gonna see how long they gonna sit right here, y'all. Cause this the crazy part. This used to be the old Ford dealership, y'all. Y'all see right there what it say? For lease, right? I know damn well the sheriffs ain't leasing this uh property, y'all. Look at them. They getting out over there at the garage. I'm, I'm about to get out, y'all. Shout, shout out to my man in the bay, too. I'm, hold up, y'all. My man in the bay, y'all. Shout out to him. He gave me, uh, 
I got a new gimbal, y'all. My man in the bay, shout out to him. He gave me a new gimbal. And he gave me a light. Hold on, let me see how I turn this on. And he gave me a light, hold up. I can turn this on up. So they about to be mad, y'all. Shout out to my man in the bay. Brain said they moving weight. Hold on, hold on. Like my, uh, I'm about to put my phone on the gamble, y'all. Bad, y'all. Y'all let me know if the uh, screen went black. I'm trying to put my phone on this gamble. Hey, this ain't work. Still good? Uh, bet, bet. I'm about to get out of the car, y'all, and, and, and we gonna go over here and see what they doing. I'm still trying to uh, work that joint, so yeah. Y'all got, uh, yeah, I'm about to walk past. I, I gotta get this gimbal straight. My bad just gave it to me, y'all. <laughs> Let me get this gimmick straight. Oh, shit. All right. See, now, I was working with this joint yesterday, and I, and I had it, uh... I had it kind of... I had this drink yesterday. I knew once I uh, <laughs> once I went to go record, it was gonna mess up. Y'all, y'all uh, deal with me real quick. I don't know, y'all. My uh. This joint tripping, so I ain't even gonna use the gamble. But look. Hold up, y'all. I'm about to go park over here. Cause they might try they might try to get my top my, my car towed. Watch they gonna come up with some type of excuse, y'all. I'm gonna go over here and pop. Y'all know the sheriffs already don't like me, right? So we about to piss them off today, y'all. Look, another, another joint coming. They doing something over there, y'all. We about to go find out. If y'all want, if y'all want me to walk up on them, y'all let me know. An another one just pulled up. Y'all want me to, uh, y'all want me to walk up on them? Y'all let me know. Somebody right here said, I might hop in my car and drive past so I can see. <laughs> oh, yes. Walk up. All right. Damn, I'm mad that this, uh, this gimbal not working. I'm about to walk up one of y'all. Come on. <coughs> Got my 
do with one for him. Give me the solid treatment for a man that just deserves. I'm trying to stay out the uh out there view. We gonna walk this way, y'all. I know they gonna see the top of my head. How you been? I've been. <laughs> How about you? What y'all doing over here? Huh? What y'all doing over here? Just having a chat. Checking the area because it's closed down. Checking this area? Yeah. Since they moved. Hey. So they need one, two, three, four, five. Mr. Anderson, you having a good day? You having a good day, Mr. Anderson? What you doing? You ain't checking out my other place. Wait, wait, why you trying to hurry? <laughs> you on TikTok? No, I'm not on, I don't have TikTok. What but. you was on there? You was on something. What you doing? Have a nice day, bud. You wanted to talk, now you want to pull off? No, just said have a nice day. Uh, where you about to go now? Huh? He all on there on, on TikTok and shit, y'all. Tell y'all, this is what they do. Now they been here for about an hour and a half, y'all. They checking the area cause uh, Ford dealership to move. Now they leaving. Have a good day, right? You be safe, brother. Thank you. Hey, good to see you, man. Yeah, good seeing you again. I haven't seen you in about a year. Uh, yeah? So, yeah. I ain't been that long? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're still out here, man. Yeah, you have a good one, right? You, you too. Head cool cop right here. Hey, this how you make them leave, y'all. They, they, they been posted up <laughs> They've been posted up here for the longest, y'all. Look at it, now they leaving. The one that was in the cut, he leaving too. They just checking the area because Ford dealership move, y'all. So what y'all over here for? Y'all got the garage up and everything. Hey, look, they all going the same way too, y'all. <laughs> He gonna come out go over here and post up. Yeah, look at him, y'all. He gonna come. He gonna come back and post up. That's what they do. Y'all see, they they do no work at all, right? And everybody wonder why it's it's a shooting every couple of days down here. Cause this what they do, y'all. They in the back of this Ford dealership, y'all. This Ford dealership been closed down there a year now. Hey, Sean, you see him, man? They out of this, man. They out of there, man. It's, it's only one more. <laughs> it's only one more, y'all. It was six police. I think it was six. Right? They said they checking the area. 
because they been closed down. Well, what's the point of checking the area? Hold up, y'all. I'm, I'm about to get to y'all comments in a minute. But we about to go. We about to go find where they post up at. Cause they went somewhere else. And I know they all ain't go down uh Leonard Town. I wouldn't be surprised if Shawty tried to pull me over when I leave this joint. Man, Robbie, I, hey, I. I made a video about that joint, right? But I gotta delete some shit off my phone, bro. That joint blowing me. It's, it's a lot of shit I'm trying to post, but I got too much shit on my phone. Hold on, let me read the comments before. <laughs> yeah. Sean said, Ford dealership, Ben Move. They trying to find a spot to take their side checks. Is he running software made America great again? Underground, when they ain't working, they ain't beating anyone or giving fake tickets. Hey, young, I'm gonna text you. All right, bet. Yeah, text me, uh, bro. They looking online for those girls from the play, the car wash. Well, God. Now they went somewhere to post. They went somewhere else to post up, y'all. Fuck it. He pulled me over. He pulled me over. If he try to pull me over, I might run his ass. For you even fucking with me. Now, y'all be careful because they got one uh, sheriff that's still in the, uh, the dealership parking lot, right? They took off fast, too. I should have went down there. They, they probably left there and went to St. Landon uh, and posted up there. Y'all said, right? As soon as I come, they want to leave. But, but they've been there for like damn near an hour, if not longer. They do that every time I come around. <laughs> every time. I'm surprised the dude told me that, uh, Oh, we just checking the area because you know they they move. Okay, they they've been gone for damn near over a year. Why all of a sudden today, y'all want to check the area? Y'all all in the garages and all that. They had the whole garage open up. Oh, here they go now. Uh, K9. And... I'm gonna go. Oh. Hold on, y'all. I swear, dog, people in St. Mary's County don't know how to drive at all. That's the sad thing about it. People be pulling out in front of you. I'm about to see what the uh Man, police ain't just hired at night.
people they, they ain't just hiding the police ain't just hiding at night they police in saint mary's county do not want to do no work right they'd rather pull you over and fight crime they got the fuck up out of there though <laughs> They got a body there, y'all. Uh, There's a one of them right here. I don't know if y'all can see. They probably split up, y'all. But certainly, y'all, they... They don't want to do no work, right? And my biggest concern is, just like I told uh, their captain, David Yingling, if they patrol the neighborhoods, then I guarantee you, a lot of this shit won't be going down. But motherfuckers know that the police just going to sit in one in, in one area so just going to sit in one area so we could go around this joint real quick and shoot shoot this neighborhood up and we could go on about that we could go on about our day we don't get caught we don't you know what I'm saying nothing because by the time the police get there we gone But if you got police patrolling the neighborhoods, riding around the neighborhoods, and motherfuckers know that they riding around the neighborhoods, don't you think that a, a person who wants to shoot somebody's house or want to shoot somebody, they going to think twice about it because they're going to be like, shit, we don't know when the police going to ride around here. Police ain't. Good morning, y'all. My bad. One of the sheriff candidates said they want to make a full-time permanent violent crime task force with sheriff state troopers and federal like DA. Yeah, they did that. They did that with the uh the youth gun violence task force. They did that. And you see how long they was around? What they was around six months? If it was six months, and they wasn't doing nothing but harassing motherfuckers. How the hell y'all have a, a, a youth gun violence task force? A motherfucker still out here shooting. And you want y'all want to know the the they build a office right here on Great Bills Road, and all the shooters happen in the neighborhood where the goddamn sheriff's office is at. So I'm trying to figure out what was the point of building this sheriff's office right here. Hold up. I am, my camera still ain't turn around. What's the point of building this sheriff's office right here on Great Mills Road and all the crime and shootings happen right here in the back of this uh, neighborhood right here? Back there, that's where all the crime happened at, y'all. What's the point? And the sheriffs don't like me because what reason? I'm trying to find out. The 
people. But they ain't worth a shit. Uh, Rob E said, David Yingling said he wants cops to be outside, not in the office. That, that's what they need to be. The hell you getting paid all this money for? You sitting in the office all day. Uh, <coughs> Tim Cameron. <coughs> you the sheriff, but you in the town 24-7. I, I, the whole, look. I've been probably, I've been probably filming the police for about two years. It's probably coming up on two years. Probably two years now. I've been filming St. Mary's County Sheriff for two years, right? I only seen Sheriff Cameron twice, right? I only seen Sheriff Cameron twice out here in these streets. One time I seen him, well, I seen him three times. First time I seen him, he was walking around the health department on uh, Great Mills Road showing some people uh the health department on great mills road right that's the first time i seen them second time i seen them was they had a school shooting down here right a little girl got killed at great mills high school so they had i don't know what it, it was like the it was some anniversary i forgot i forgot how many years it was but they had a little memorial at Great Mills High School for the little girl getting killed for the, at the school shooting. That's the second time I seen Sheriff Cameron, Tim Cameron. That's the second time I seen him outside, right? The third time I seen Tim Cameron is when the dude got shot in the head around Queens Lane. That's the third time I seen him, y'all. And you the sheriff. You the you the boss man. That man don't be out here in these streets. The other candidate was years at PGPD. I don't even know. I don't even know who the other candidate is, man. Cause everybody in St. Mary's County, uh. Well, I ain't gonna say everybody, but at least 80% of St. Mary's County government officials is crooked. Richard Fritz, this man, this man is a state's attorney, and he didn't gang rape somebody. How the hell are you a state's attorney and you you convicted of rape? And then they and then they sealed your case up. <laughs> That's the crazy part about it. How you not only you, but two of your partners go and rape somebody. You know what I'm saying? And I be looking at pictures of Richard Fritz. And, and, and sad to say, y'all, I, I don't want nobody to feel no type of way. But Richard Fritz looked like the type of motherfucker that would rape somebody. His that nigga ugly as shit. Richard Fritz is ugly as a motherfucker. Richard Fritz looked like he the type of motherfucker that would rape a, a rape a girl. Sad to say, and I don't condone raping on none of that. I got aunts, sisters, cousins, but Richard Fritz looked like he's the type of man. Y'all look at this, Fritz. They got this man uh, signs all over uh, St. Mary's County. Richard Fritz, he's a state's attorney, and he's convicted of gang rape. Ain't did ain't, ain't did near day in jail. But you the state's attorney, and you sending all kinds of people to prison for the same crime you convicted of, man. And you ain't did you ain't did one day in jail. Fritz postponed a trial one time to go hunting. I believe you. 
man, I done heard so much. I done heard so much stuff about Richard Fritz. About how Richard Fritz used to go out on drug buses, right? With a gun. Richard Fritz used to go out on drug buses with the uh with the uh sheriffs. Go out on drug buses with his handgun. I heard Richard Fresh used to be down South Hampton, getting high, snorting coke. You feel me? I heard Richard Fresh used to be down South Hampton, getting high, snorting coke in the drug houses, right? I heard Richard Fritz. I heard, I heard another story where the dope boys down here, the dope boys down here used to get caught up, right? They used to get caught, whatever. And they could go to Richard Fritz and, and pay Richard Fritz to beat the case. You feel me? I heard so much stuff about Richard Fritz, man. It don't make no sense. And, and, that's, and that's why I'm trying to figure out how the hell is this man still a state's attorney? Right? You, you heard about what happened to Daniel White. Daniel White, his brother, which is an orphan judge. You feel me? Daniel White, his brother, which is an orphan judge in St. Mary's County, and his nephew, that's a uh, Maryland State Police. They all just got caught up in a federal uh, complaint, right? Where they ex they extorted over like four hundred and some million dollars. So you gotta look at it. Nah, he lives on the water, and the boats bring the coach straight to his back door. Hey, Sean, I believe you, cause I heard he got. I heard I heard that man got some uh, land down Leonard Town. I heard he got some land down there. Jamie Sterling probably gonna win. She did more money, got endorsement by police, and had 14 years. Yeah, Jamie Sterling. That's Larry Hogan's daughter. I hope she ain't crooked too, but they, you know, she used to work for uh, Richard First back in the day, and she quit because all the crooked shit he was doing. Yeah, y'all. He lied at the debate saying newspaper was bought by civilians. <laughs> hey, Rob E, I, I seen that joint that they had the debate, but I ain't even looking to it, bro. I need to. If, 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 uh, if civilians bought the newspaper, then why you pay, what do you pay that man, 10000 I forgot how much the man got all together because Fritz had to pay the man and uh, the county had to pay him. Yeah, I, uh, I forgot how much, uh, Keith, what's up, man? Where you at? I forgot how much it was, but I know Fritz had to pay him 10000 I think that man got like 100000 though. Or 300000 I think it was. I forgot. I'm going to go back and look. Fritz sitting in line talking about civilians bought the newspaper. I'm about to pull up on you, Keith. That man sued the shit out of Fritz. I ain't one said said that Fritz ain't. How, how Fritz <laughs> get the sheriffs with him and go out and steal this man newspaper, right? And this this my uh 
This is my, uh, this is what I think. I swear, I don't think this shit gas, y'all. This shit don't even smell like gas. Y'all hear me out. Fred said that <laughs> he went out and bought the newspaper, right? So you know how they had the, the vending machines for the newspaper. You paid 25 cents for a newspaper. Fritz only paid 25 cents for one newspaper and took all the rest of the okay? <laughs> Fritz go hard as shit. Told about them newspapers was bought by civilians. Man, shut your old lying perver perverted ass up. You fucking rapist. Big nose bitch. I swear, I want, I want, I want, uh, run the, I, they got a pickup truck PT Cruise. I ain't never seen no shit like that. <sighs> shit, I'm coming, uh, I'm coming down Great Mills, Keith. Sheriff said they want to expand narcotics. Shit, all they gotta do is go to uh, Richard Fritz's house. I bet they find all the narcotics over that bitch. That probably what the sheriff was uh, just doing over there at the dealership in that garage. They probably was uh, hiding drugs and shit in there. Vote July night tape. It's not good to have new sheriffs and new state's attorney, man. That 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 bad crooked as shit. I see his kids and shit all on uh, social media and shit trying to promote them. I'm sitting there like, y'all motherfuckers, it's crazy and shit. I wouldn't even lie to y'all. If Richard Fritz was my father, I, I would not, I would not, I would not tell nobody my last name is Fritz. I would not do none of that. Then you, then, hey, hey, Rob me. Then you see the shit that's happening uh, in, in Charles County. No, nah, not Charles County, Calvert County. Is it Charles County? Or, I forgot. I think it's, I don't know. Which I ever got the sheriff, Mike Evans. I think he the black dude, too. That's the crazy part about it. He trying to get a, a, a lawsuit that's out against him, dismissed, and the judge said, nah, we're going to see what's up with this. They charge the they charge the people uh ten thousand dollars to FOIA request public information. Yeah, Calvert County. They charge the people ten thousand dollars to FOIA request public information. County. When I went to court, these these people right. The public defender, cause I got a public defender. It's a fucking, uh, it's a a trespassing charge is a crackhead charge, y'all. You know how a crackhead sit in front of the liquor store and shit, and they be out there begging people for money. And then, and then the people from the liquor store, they get tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? They might get a tour with them or whatever. And then they call the police. Hey, we want them trespassed from all the property. That's a crackhead charge, right? I know a person that got thirty trespasses. Ain't there near, ain't there near, they in jail. Ain't there near, they in jail. 
I go to the barracks, go to, I go to the Golden Rainbergs out of uh, Baltimore County, and the judge gave me 30 days, dog. Now I'm about to be I'm about to be recording this shit out of the Merle State Police. Judge gave me 30 days, right? They took my camera, y'all. Y'all listen to how fucked up this is. They took my camera, right? And the excuse they gave me was of them taking my camera is because they taking it for evidence, right? Okay. So we get to court. I go to court May 12th. Right, I go to court May 12th. Remind you, they they when you go to court, they call you alphabetical order by your last name. Right, they call them all the H's first. So I'm looking, I'm like, okay, cool, we good. But the the, the uh, public the public pretender that I had, he told me when I when I first talked to him, cause that was my first time talking to him that day. He ain't never get in touch with me. I got locked up February 2nd. He ain't never talked to me until May 12th, right? And this man tell me, first thing he say to me, oh, they uh, they offering jail time. They, uh, 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 they, they want you to do some time for it. So I, he asked me what happened. I went, on, I went on telling him what happened, how it happened. I'm recording. I got a YouTube channel. I was doing the First Amendment audit. They took my camera and all that. This man said to me, no lie, y'all. He said to me, oh, it sounds like they, they they trying to fuck with you. Okay, cool. So I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? But I kind of knew I was fucked, y'all. <laughs> I kind of knew I was fucked, right? When I told this man I was doing First Amendment audits, and this man asked me what was a First Amendment audit, I said, you got to be fucking kidding me. I knew I was done when he when he said that. So we go in there. Court start at one o'clock, right? They call all the H's first, y'all. Right? They call all the H's first. So I'm sitting, I'm, so I'm sitting there like, man, what the? F you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't want to get up and and, and go to the state's attorney, but man, I ain't call my name because I ain't want them. To try to charge me with uh contempt of court or nothing like that. So I, I sat back and chill. A lot of y'all not only three people went home that day. Two of the people that went home with these little young it was a, a young dude and a young girl. I guess they got a hotel room or whatever. Or they was at a hotel room and some shit went down at the hotel room. And you know what I'm saying? The only reason they ain't go to jail is because the hotel uh people they ain't show up this other dude he come in that drink this nigga acting crazy talking about he was just in a uh a car accident he supposed to be on bed rest the nigga came in there with the uh the neck brace and everything you know? remind you the nigga said he was just in a uh a, a, a accident right he, he supposed to be on a uh, <laughs> bed rest this nigga neck brace was dirty as a motherfucker, y'all. I'm sitting there like, who the fuck grandmother neck brace this nigga that stole? Cause nigga, you ain't just getting no eye off on the judge, telling the judge you ain't about to violate my rights. I'm asking for a continuance and this, that, and the third. The judge like, uh, like you done had several, several chances to go get a, uh, a public defense. And they were going to jail for sure. I'm talking about this nigga was in that joint going ham on the judge, y'all. He going ham on the judge. So I'm like, oh yeah, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Judge let that man go home, y'all. So, the case before mine, reminds y'all, I was the last case of that day. The case before mine Five minutes before the case ended, the state trooper, the first state trooper came in, right? And it was just like how it was on the video, y'all. He came out first, right? Told me, oh, I can't be back here. It's 
uh, signs all over the place that say do not enter, no trespassing, and this and that and the third. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna lie to you. I was, I was, I was very respectful to this man. Two minutes, not even two minutes late. It was like 60 seconds. I did him telling me that I'm walking. I'm walking the same way that I came, y'all. The fat sergeant dude come outside. He got he got on uh he got on plain clothes. So he like, oh yeah, I'm the sergeant and you ain't supposed to be back here. I said, cause they try they try to get me. They both asked me, was I a police? Now I'm I'm saying to myself like these motherfuckers think I'm stupid. You feel me like? You really think I'm out to tell? You really think I'ma tell? I'ma tell y'all I'm a police, so y'all could so y'all could lock me up for impersonating the police? Are you? You think I'm that stupid? They think I'm that stupid, man. So they both come out and ask me without police. So the so the sergeant come out. Hey man, uh, you a police officer? I said like I just told you, man. No, I'm not a police officer. Do I look like a police officer to you? Oh well, if you're not a police officer, you're gonna have to leave back, uh, cause this is this is private property and you can't be here. I said, oh, this is private property. Yeah, we got signs all over the uh building and and, and all over the walkways and stuff that say do not enter and uh no trespassing private property. So I'm like, man, I said, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't see no signs. I I told him, I said, uh. I said, what I tell him, I said, I said, I, I didn't drive here, so you, you talking about do not answer. I said, yeah, that's that's for cars. I ain't drive here. Oh no, no, it's not. So remind y'all, this man standing directly in front of me, right? He standing, he standing directly in front of me. The other sheriff, right? I mean, the other state trooper right here. So I go and walk to the left because I was about to go the same way that I came in, right? So I walk over there to the right, and I had my uh, I had my camera on my little I had a little tripod. I had my camera on the tripod. I'm walk past the, I'm walking past one of their cruisers, right? I I lift my I'm still walking though. I lift my I lift my camera up and point it into the window of the car. So when he seen that, oh sir, come here. I said, huh? Uh, come here. And turn around, put your hand behind you, you. You're being under arrest. I'm like, damn, for what? For trespassing. I'm like, okay, what crime did I commit? I just told you trespassing. I'm like, all right. So they, they locked me up, y'all. Had me in the barracks for hours, right? Had me in the barracks for hours. Remind you, I'm the only one in there, right? I'm listening to them outside gossiping. I'm listening to the uh, the calls coming about people having accidents and shit like that. So they had me in there for so long. I stood up and knocked on the door. So I asked it. I asked the dude like, I asked the dude, one of the one of the uh, state troopers come to the door, whatever. So I asked, I'm like, damn man, I said, how long was gonna be? Y'all had me in this joint for an hour. Oh, he said, oh, they finishing up your paperwork now, so it's not gonna be that long. Okay. Another 30 minutes go on. So now I'm in that joint getting pissed. I knock on the door again. Another state trooper come to the joint. That's the dude that was on the video when I went and got my property back. He come to, he come to the door. Yeah, uh, can I help you? I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, uh, dude just told me they, they were finishing up my paperwork. How long is it going to be? So he like, uh, oh, they, they about to come and get you now. Y'all, another hour and a half went on, right? 
So now, now I'm getting pissed off. Cause I'm like, man, they playing with me, right? I'm like, they playing with me. So I said, all right, y'all want to treat me like a criminal? All right, bet. I'm about to start acting like a criminal. I get on, I uh, I stand up. You know, they got the little sink and the toilet in there that's together. So I stand up on the sink. So I guess they see me standing up on the sink. I guess they say, oh, no, nah, this, this motherfucker trying to kill itself or something. So I stand up on the sink. As soon as I stand up on the sink, y'all, the, uh, the the state troopers come in that joint. They got the shackles. They got the shackles that go around your ankles and everything. So they come in there with an attitude. Hey, man, get down from there. I'm like, nah, I get down when it's time for me to go. Is it time for me to go? He like, oh, uh, yeah, they, they, they about to come and get you in a minute. I said, all right, when they come and get me, then that's when I, uh, that's when I get down. So he looking at me like he just gave me this look like the look he gave me is like <laughs> like motherfucker I would really fuck you up in this motherfucker hold this hell right now you don't need to know it and that's what I wanted him to do I wanted him to put his hands on me y'all I ain't even gonna lie to you so he left out the drink went back I guess to like their little office and came back with another state trooper. Uh, uh, man, you got to get down. I said, dog, I just told y'all I get down when y'all, you know what I'm saying, it's time for me to leave. If it's time for me to leave, then I get down. If it's not time for me to leave, I'm standing up here. I stood up there the whole time, y'all. He let, he shut the door again, came right back, right? Came back with my, uh, my jacket, my book bag, and everything else. And then they take me to this room where he act like he was about to, uh, fingerprint me and, and, and do all that shit, right? So they had me in there for like five, ten minutes, right? Then came back, because they had a rookie officer. I guess he was about to process me or whatever, because they sitting there telling him what to do and all this other shit. So had me in there for like five, ten minutes. Then came back, oh, man, you got to go back in the holding cell. So I'm like, dog, y'all, y'all motherfuckers playing game, dog. So they take my stuff back from me, take me back to the holding cell. As soon as I go back in the holding cell, I stand up on the toilet, I stand up on the sink, right? So they had me in there. I ain't gonna lie for like two minutes. Then that's when the uh, the rookie dude came and got me. Took me to the uh to the to the uh the courthouse and. Catonville to go see the commissioner. So I went to go see the commissioner. She told me she don't feel safe with giving me a bond. So I'm sitting there like, now I'm mad, y'all. Cause I'm like, this is a trespassing charge, right? This is supposed to be a trespassing charge, but she don't feel safe with giving me a, a, a bond. So I had to spend the night in Baltimore County Jail Dude took me to Baltimore County Jail. But listen, y'all. Dude taking me to Baltimore County Jail, right? Why would you stand on the sink? Because they were, they were playing with me. I told you. I told you they were playing with me, so... They want to treat me like a criminal? I'm going to act like one. Shit. I had me in that joint for like... Damn near seven hours. I got locked up. Nah, that, probably like six. I got locked up damn near 12 o'clock, 12.30. And I ain't go see the commissioner until after 6.40. The dude that's transporting me to the, uh, to the commissioner officer, right? Reminds y'all, it's pouring down, raining out there. And I told y'all when they had me inside the, uh, look at this boy, I ain't getting What's up, Charlie? What you eating? Sandwich. Who made that joint? Me. Oh, yeah. Let me see that joint. What kind of sandwich is it? Lunch meat, um, mayonnaise. You got chips on that joint? What's, that look like chips, man. Let me see. Let me see. Bring it closer. What is that, uh, browns? What's that, cheese or something? Oh, cheese. Oh, all right. Oh, you better say. Stand out of trouble? Alright, bro. 
I thought he had a tip. But the dude that transported me, y'all, I told y'all, when they had me inside the birds, I'm listening to the calls come in and everybody calling about a, uh, an accident. Everybody done been in an accident. This man going 80 something, what, 84 miles an hour in a 45 mile an hour zone? I'm looking at him like, whole time he got his phone on his lap, right? He got his phone on his lap where he texting. I don't know who the fuck he was texting, but he was texting somebody. And what's good? He was texting somebody and he had his, like, he had his air, air pod in, right? So he texted somebody and then he tried, then he looking at the phone for like the maps and shit for the directions. I'm looking at this nigga like, bro, y'all motherfuckers are cricket. Get to the jail. Wait the next morning. Had to go see the bond hearing judge. The bond hearing judge let me out on 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 a uh, pre-trial release. And y'all know pre-trial release ain't nothing but probation before you go to uh, court. They telling me I gotta uh, call every week. I got, I'm scheduled to random drug tests. I can't take a uh, prescription uh, medication, even even if it's prescribed to me. I'm sitting there like, this bitch is crazy. Like, I'm really saying to myself, like, this bitch is crazy. Like, you telling me I can't take my medication. All right, cool. That shit went in one ear and out the other. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to go back live in a little bit.